Well, today we're going to do some of the advanced features. So on the um, H drive, there's a, in the 4C folder, there's a, a project called Week 10 Demos in 4C, Week 10 Demos. Copy that to your computer and then open that project. It has four files in it, four parts. We're going to use those today. Or actually, it has five parts. So we have one for ribs, sweeps, coils, embosses, and lock, which happen to be what we're talking about today. <clears throat> Anyone know what a loft is? Yep. It's where you have multiple planes, and you're basically telling it you want a smooth curve between all of them. Yeah, it's where you have different shapes that are offset, different distances, and then you want a curve between them. So, like on this camera lens or the, the housing here, it starts out a circle and ends up ends up a square. So it's a loft. Same thing with the seat. Going from one shape at different cross sections, it's got a different profile. So going smoothly between all those. Um, also on your project, there's the the screw rod. They where it goes from a hex to a circle, and then also the handle that has multiple, multiple diameters of circles. <clears throat> what about a sweep? So now instead of with extrude, we'd just take our profile and push out straight, or revolver and spin in a circle. Now sweep, we can actually make our profile follow a path um, to get a shape. So like these, like these headers. <clears throat> so this would be just a, a circle, and then you'd have the path of where to go, and it'd, it'd follow the path on the sweep. <clears throat> Rips, so thin features, used for support. Coil. What should you use coil for? That's what, like spring or something? Yeah, so springs, coils. What else could you use coils for? Yeah, threads. So we can add threads to our part without using the coil, right? Remember those are the cosmetic threads where it just shows on the drawing? But what if you wanted to print out your part on the 3D printer? Could you use the cosmetic threads to print it out? No, it'd just be a solid chunk, right? So you'd have to go in and use coil to actually model the threads into it if you wanted to print it out on the 3D printer. So what you might do is, when you're going to print out the part, you'd have it actually modeled, and then you'd suppress that, those features in order to just put cosmetic threads on it for the drawings. Because detailed threads their model threads on the drawing will be just way too, way too much. <clears throat> and then the emboss lets us put labels um, onto a surface. Also, we can use text, or we can do a shape, and what I'll do is actually I'll wrap it around the surface. Instead of just going straight in, it'll wrap it. So that's what we're talking about today. So if we have ribs, We just draw a sketch plane. We just draw a line, wherever we want our rib to be. Then we go to rib. Now we can tell it the profile, a direction, and then a width right here, and it puts in a rib. So here's the part that we're going to do. So let me lock you guys out first. I should have it open. So you can see I have a couple sketches here. I have one sketch here on this in-kind sketch plane. Is it not locked? No, it's not working. It's not okay, working. then just watch up here. So I have an in-kind sketch plane here. 
with, with just a little bit of a line. And I don't even have a length on it. All I have is it centered on that on, on that edge. And then I have a couple other lines over here. So when I go to rib, I'm going to pick my profile. So that's my profile there. And it didn't do anything. What I need to do is I need to go to direction and tell it which way to go. So I want to make sure that I'm going that way. Because you couldn't make it go to the side, but I want it to go back into the part. Here I set my width. Here I set my extents. This extend profile, if I take that off, look at it. Now it's only going the length of my sketch. If I turn that extend profile on, now it's going to extend all the way out to the next phase. And then I can make it either a, a thin, thin rib or a solid rib. Say OK. So there's that rib. So wouldn't that have been handy a few weeks ago when we did that, <laughs> that shima, or the, the plastic part? Now all you got to do is one sketch, tell it to do a rib, and it fill it all in. Yeah, that'd be perfect. The same thing here. Rib, pick all of those, direction, click go straight down, okay. But that one, oh, I didn't want to do that. So how can I fix that? Edit the feature, right? We go back to that feature, turn extend off, and okay. Oh, okay, so it's extended all the way to the next piece. Yep, because it just extended, just keeps on going until it hits the, the outside. Okay. So remember, you can always go back in, right click, and edit your feature to make changes. Don't delete it, put it back in. Just edit it, fix it. So, all right, go ahead and do this one.